to another episode of At Home Prospecting. Um, yeah, I'm thinking way outside the box again, kind of reinventing the wheel, but I got an idea I wanted to try um, for panning for gold to make it more efficient maybe. Maybe it might work a little bit better. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet, but this is what it is. It is a shaker gold pan concentrator, I guess. I'm not even sure what to call it. But the whole idea, and I think you guys have all seen it out there, the idea of shaking your material back and forth to take the light stuff off instead of a regular gold pan. Now, we're going to try this out, but bear with me for a second. And let me try and explain what I'm thinking. So, a gold pan. Why is a gold pan round? I mean, I understand you slosh it around like this, and all the heavies go to the bottom, and you end up with this whole pile of material at the top that you're rinsing off the light stuff like this well all this material is going out and never even touching these riffles down here now it is effective but I know I lose gold when I pan I've got a whole bucket of concentrates back here to go through that I've already panned this summer I know I'm gonna find gold in it so you know and besides that why are sluices flat? Why do we run all of our material over a flat sluice and over the riffles to catch the gold? And we don't do the same thing with a gold pan. I don't know. Just my way of thinking, I guess. So, if this little idea works, I don't know if you can see it or not, what it is, is a, a feed scoop that you get at the uh, farm supply store. And I used my deep or uh, my drop riffle V mat uh, mat in here, just siliconed it in the bottom. My idea is to shake it like this, go like this. All the material runs over all the riffles, all the light stuff goes out, and all the heavy stay in here. Right now, I don't know how practical this is, but if this works, why not this? And I haven't decided yet. If you're standing in a creek, or you're out panning, just panning, don't have a sluice, water issues, whatever it is, why wouldn't you just take a five gallon bucket, put a silicone mat in the bottom of it, and that's removable? Now, I just said flat, so my idea if I use, I haven't decided whether to use a square bucket or a round bucket, but my idea is to flatten it out in the front like this and have a removable mat so what if you could just take this to the creek like this put a shovel full of material in tip it up go like this all the material runs over all the riffles on its way out trapping the gold and letting the lighter and the bigger unclassified stuff run on out so either that or a square bucket let me know what you think, if this idea works. I've even got some bigger square buckets that are quite a bit bigger than this. Like this, like this. But, I don't know, this might just work if I flatten out the front like this. Put something in there to just really make this flat. It's going to be dang near flat. So anyway, that's my idea. So the dirt I'm going to try running today, I've got a bunch of pay dirt here that I won during our raffle this summer at the claim. I've got uh, some Montana gold panning gravel. Supposed to be some decent gold in it. We'll see. I've got some Topo Deep Montana gold pay dirt. And I've got some Montana Prospector gold nugget pay dirt. There should be a half a gram of gold in this. Oh no, I got two bags of this to dump in there so let me dump this in and get this all mixed up I'll be back we'll give this a try see how it works okay we got the uh, material all mixed in there that's in that's not too much to pan out if you're using a regular gold pan but let's just see what happens here I'm gonna put a little bit of scoop of dirt into there Here's my idea. Shake it. And 
and then put it down under the water shake out the material a little bit of an angle I can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's pretty dirty but I see the bigger rocks going out everything should be settling down in those deep riffles there I did take it out of the water but for an example but the idea is to leave it down underneath maybe the surface tension wouldn't be so great keep it all active in there all the heavy should sink to the bottom right so I guess for a five gallon bucket or something this would be equal to a shovel full I guess one of my little scoops back and forth tip it back I guess any gold that gets out will or gets moved forward We'll slide back. I don't know if I got the right technique here, but the principle should work okay, right? I mean, we've all seen it in other pans they've come up with. And heck, if it doesn't work that great, what the heck? I'll throw it out there. Maybe somebody can give me some more ideas and that'll work better. But so far, from what I can see, and granted, this isn't complete yet because you're still going to have to dump it into a pan and pan it out. But I got some ideas for a gold pan. Just haven't got that far yet. The heavy sink down in there. Maybe I just need to slow it down. That was working pretty good. I like slower better. Not sloshing it around so much, but it's carrying the big rocks out. I think all the heavies will still sink to the bottom. Well, I know they will. Just about done here, I think. A little bit of material in the back. Work it on down. Good thing it takes some getting used to for sure. But there we go. I'll get the camera, make sure I get this. Let me drain this off. If you can see it, I see gold there, 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 all in through here. And right at the moment, I don't see anything down in here. All back in here. I'll make sure I get the camera and show this to you. So there's a piece of gold here. All the way around this rock. Kind of hard to see it. But up in here, I see gold all over in here. And it's only like the second riffle down. I don't see any gold down below that at all. I'll get in the light and take a closer look, but I don't see anything at all. It's all up in here. All scattered through there. Cool. I think that'll work. All right, so let me get this thing emptied into a pan we'll pan it out I'll go through the tailings 
just to kind of see what this thing blew out, if anything, um, for a first try. I think that's a success, I think. So let me carry on. Let me get this emptied into a, a pan. Pan this thing out. Wow. Look at the gold. You can see it in the pan. I'm littered with gold. And I'll be back. Well, my shaker, gold concentrator thingy, whatever you want to call it, I say it's a success. Um, here's what was in the mat. Um, we get, I'll try, but yeah, that's what was in the mat. Probably over, oh, well over a half a gram of gold for sure. Real close to a gram. I got some good pay dirt there. This is what was in the tailings. Ah, uh, one little, well, actually two little pieces, if you can see it. Uh, one right there, and one right over here. And that is it. So for a first try, ah, oh dang. This may just work out kind of like I thought. Maybe better than I thought. <clears throat> but, I mean, take all that material, run it across the silicone mat with riffles. Um, and if it was a first try, I really don't have the technique down. I mean, that's pretty dang good. Granted, you have to dump it into a pan to finish it, but then again, with the five-gallon bucket idea, maybe instead of when you go to the creek and actually, you know, take a pan and fill it full of dirt, pan it down one pan at a time, uh, why not a five-gallon bucket and concentrate down, say, a whole five-gallon bucket of dirt before you dump it in your pan and pan it out? Uh, why not? I know I give a little bit of credit to Utah Avalanche. I didn't want to say anything in case it was a total fail. But Utah Avalanche, we're kind of talking about an idea like this. This is not exactly what we were talking about. But same idea, same basic concept. So thanks to Utah for, you know, talking with me about it, coming up with this. So shaking a gold pan, I mean, seems to work pretty dang good. I liked it. I'm going to try the five gallon bucket. I've got a bunch of material that's unclassified um, from the claim that I usually work on. So I will go up and, or I will uh, get some of that dirt out. I'll make up some more mats for the five gallon bucket, um, square or round. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know. Square, square or round. Um, and we'll go from there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, we will catch you next time. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. And bye now.